Pluto, once considered a member of our solar system's family of planets, has remained a subject of fascination despite its reclassification as a dwarf planet. Recently, however, the renowned astrophysicists Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku have rekindled public interest in Pluto, drawing attention to the possibility that this distant celestial object may be on a collision course with Neptune. These experts aren't merely speculating. They are issuing a cautionary warning that Pluto could be heading toward a potentially catastrophic impact with Neptune. But how is such an event even remotely possible? And what would the repercussions be if this monumental event were to actually occur? Could Earth be at risk as well? These questions raise concerns that reach far beyond mere curiosity. Pluto's orbit is notably close to Neptune's, and the implications of this proximity have raised alarms among experts like Tyson and Kaku. If even the slightest alteration in their orbits were to occur, the outcome could be disastrous. But how is such a collision even conceivable? To understand the potential dangers, we must first explore the intricacies of Pluto's unusual orbit. Pluto's journey around our solar system is unlike any other planets, as it takes an astonishing 248 Earth years to complete a single orbit. Since its discovery in 1930, Pluto has yet to finish even one full cycle. What adds to the intrigue is Pluto's highly elongated orbit, which deviates significantly from the nearly circular orbits of most other planets. Furthermore, Pluto's orbit is tilted by 17 degrees relative to the plane of the solar system, making its path even more irregular. This tilt, combined with the eccentricity of its orbit, complicates its motion in ways that raise questions about its interactions with other planetary bodies. One of the most remarkable features of Pluto's orbit is that, for about two decades during each revolution, it actually crosses Neptune's path and comes closer to the Sun than Neptune. This raises a pressing question. Why hasn't Pluto collided with Neptune already? The explanation lies in the gravitational effects of other planets, particularly Neptune's neighboring bodies. Researchers began to examine Pluto's unique orbital path shortly after its discovery, trying to understand why its orbit is so different from those of other planets. Unlike most planets, whose orbits are aligned with the solar plane, Pluto's orbit stands out due to its sharp angle and uneven path. However, this curiosity deepened when it was realized that Pluto's orbit intersects Neptune's. The consistency of Pluto's orbit, despite these irregularities, provide strong evidence for the complex and subtle forces at play in the cosmos. The three-body problem, a classic dilemma in celestial mechanics, refers to the challenge of understanding the gravitational interactions between three bodies, like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun essentially. It involves predicting the movement of these bodies based on their mutual gravitational attraction. In the case of Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, their gravitational pulls create an intricate dance that stabilizes Pluto's orbit. One of the key principles at work here is asynchronous oscillation, a term used to describe how Pluto and Neptune avoid colliding despite their intersecting orbits. When Pluto crosses Neptune's orbital path, it is always positioned at least 90 degrees away from Neptune in angular distance. This angular separation is crucial in preventing their paths from crossing. Another vital factor is orbital drift which refers to the slight vertical shifts in a planet's path as it moves. For Pluto, this means that when it is closest to Neptune, it is positioned above Neptune's orbital plane, further reducing the risk of a collision. Moreover, the VZK wobble, named after the researchers Zell, Kai, and Kaku, plays an essential role in stabilizing Pluto's orbit. This phenomenon describes how three massive bodies, Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, exert gravitational influence on each other, shaping their trajectories. Despite the apparent erratic nature of Pluto's movement, the VZK wobble helps maintain its orbit over vast periods of time, ensuring it does not veer off course or collide with Neptune. The stability of Pluto's orbit is further reinforced by the gravitational pull of Jupiter and Saturn. Studies have shown that Jupiter's immense mass plays a significant role in keeping Pluto's path consistent, possibly for billions of years. In fact, Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn seem to work together in a harmonious gravitational relationship to ensure that Pluto remains on its course without encountering any significant hazards. These complex dynamics are crucial in maintaining order within our solar system. 
Without such stabilizing mechanisms, our cosmic neighborhood could be a far more chaotic place, with planets like Pluto potentially colliding or being ejected from the solar system entirely. Understanding Pluto's motion and the forces that guide it offers valuable insights into the behavior of our solar system as a whole. Pluto's example illustrates how even seemingly unpredictable orbits can achieve stability through intricate gravitational interactions. It underscores the importance of ongoing observation and research to better understand these cosmic phenomena. Studying distant celestial bodies, like Pluto, often forces us to confront the strange and unpredictable nature of the universe. Pluto's orbit, in particular, is a perfect example of this irregularity, showcasing the sensitivity of an orbit to small changes in initial conditions. In fact, the theory of orbital disorder explains how small alterations in Pluto's velocity or position could lead to dramatic changes in its future path. Computer simulations have proven incredibly useful for space scientists in predicting Pluto's movement. These simulations rely on complex equations to model how Pluto and other celestial bodies, like Neptune, interact through gravitational forces. By adjusting minor variables in these models, scientists can explore how even the slightest changes might alter Pluto's eventual trajectory. In the late 1980s, these models revealed a surprising fact. Despite the stabilizing factors that influence Pluto's orbit, its path could still behave unpredictably. Even small discrepancies in Pluto's location or speed could have far-reaching effects on its future trajectory. However, despite this unpredictability, Pluto's orbit has remained surprisingly consistent over billions of years. This consistency suggests that Pluto's path, while irregular, is not entirely chaotic. As space exploration continues to advance, scientists are gaining a deeper understanding of the forces at play in our solar system. However, predicting the orbits of celestial bodies, particularly those as erratic as Pluto, remains a monumental challenge. The complexity of these systems highlights both our progress and the limits of our knowledge. While mathematical models have been invaluable for making predictions, they also emphasize the inherent uncertainty of cosmic motion, as even the smallest error in initial conditions can lead to vastly different outcomes. Despite Pluto's seemingly unstable orbit, its example serves as a reminder of the ever-evolving nature of the universe. While humanity has made great strides in understanding the cosmos, Pluto's peculiarities highlight how much we still have yet to learn. As we continue to probe the depths of space, we gain a greater appreciation for the role that each planet plays in shaping the stability and direction of others within the solar system. So, why are prominent astrophysicists suddenly raising alarms about a potential collision between Pluto and Neptune, despite all the stabilizing forces at play? Neil deGrasse Tyson, a renowned astrophysicist and prominent advocate for understanding the universe, has expressed his concerns about Pluto's future. Tyson, who played a key role in Pluto's reclassification as a dwarf planet, views this change not as a demotion but as an important correction in our understanding of the objects orbiting our star. He emphasizes the importance of remaining flexible in our scientific understanding as we continue to uncover more about the cosmos. Although Tyson remains hopeful about our increasing understanding of space, he is also warned that the possibility of a Pluto-Neptune collision cannot be ruled out entirely. Despite Pluto's relative safety thus far, Tyson points out that small, cumulative changes in its orbit could trigger disastrous events over time. As Pluto's trajectory overlaps with Neptune's, it creates a complex relationship that may not remain stable indefinitely. Even minor disturbances in Pluto's orbit could lead to significant consequences over long periods, potentially culminating in a catastrophic collision. However, such an event is unlikely to occur in the near future. It would likely take millennia to unfold. Tyson's cautious stance calls for further monitoring and investigation into Pluto's orbital path. He is not alone in his concerns. Michio Kaku, a theoretical physicist known for his work on the future of space exploration, shares Tyson's apprehension. Kaku, like Tyson, recognizes the delicate balance of planetary orbits and the potential for unforeseen changes as time passes. Both scientists agree that continued exploration and observation are crucial for understanding the forces that govern planetary motion and the long-term stability of our solar system. In the end, 
Pluto's situation highlights the fluid nature of our understanding of the universe. As space science continues to progress, the possibility of a Pluto-Neptune collision serves as a humbling reminder of how much remains unknown. Even seemingly peaceful planetary paths can change dramatically over time. This serves as a reminder to keep exploring, keep watching the skies, and keep wondering about the secrets that still lie hidden among the stars.